Hey Realm Walkers, I'm Saradus Orbis, and I hope you are having a great day today. And if not, come escape with me for a bit. What you're watching right now is the first episode of Stranded Among the Realms, which is going to be an extreme difficulty playthrough of Nightingale. I've already gone ahead and done the whole tutorial part, so we don't have to really watch that. And we're kind of already in our Abeyance Realm, so we can start getting on with our adventures. We're actually doing pretty good. Let's, um... Oh yes, and we're chock full of stuff. Just chock full of all of this. Um... Yeah. So we're gonna need to put down... a house immediately. Where are we? Let's see, that's... I believe this is... Okay, the Essence Trader. And, oh wow, the portal is so far away. So we'd have to go all the way over there in order to build. I'd like to build close to the portal because, well, it's just easier to go traveling when your house is right next to the portal. So let's, let's aim for here. And I suppose we can um, gather stuff along the way. Such as these berries. And we definitely want those mushrooms. Um, we could gather... Oh wait, we're going the wrong way. We're going this way. We could gather stone. But we're almost full up. So we actually need to be careful about how much we pick up. We probably want to go this way first. We kind of want to sneak between here and then come around. Yeah, for now, let's grab this. So the Karnutsa being that regrows all fauna and flora that you felled. So if, like, if we had chopped that tree down, for example, and, like, reaped all this grass, it's possible that he would stop and scream and kind of let all this stuff come back. Oh. And often he'll drop stuff off for you. Ooh, tin ore. No, we can't. We can't pick it up. Well, actually, no, we can. We just we're way down. So what we're gonna have to do is turn it into dust. I know. Wow, this is seriously quite picturesque. Let's not go down. Let's actually go up this way. Wow, oh, that's, uh... That's quite the sight, isn't it? It'd be nice to go fishing right here. I'd say that's screenshot worthy, wouldn't you? Alright, let's move on. That's okay. I won't I won't hurt ya. Food food. Sure. We actually do need to snack on something though. Let's have one of the others too. So we got Plenty of stamina. Uh, where are we at? Oh, we gotta cross this. It's a little bit awkward. Do we cross on this side? Or probably here is better. Oh man, there's all this stuff I want to look at, but we can't. We gotta stay the course. We gotta stay the course. We gotta get close to that uh, portal. Okay, then we can place our estate cairn. Once we get a little closer. Uh, where are we at? It's not bad. Maybe we go up this way? It's 
put the umbrella away, shall we? We don't really need that right now. Come and explore all this stuff later. Oh. It's like on the other side of this. Ooh, the berries. Can't say no to berries. So it's right there. Next the side of these trees. So we could probably build up here. Have a small estate overlooking the uh, the portal. The problem is I'd rather have flat ground to build on. We could put something behind it over here. Oh no, we can't because there's this thing. Hello. Why? Why are you so sad? Probably because the uh, end of the world happened. <laughs> that could be it. So the what's going on is you know the world, the world is ending. Um, Earth itself has been overrun by this thing called the Pale, which has, which was attracted to Earth by greed, by human greed, and so now it's been kind of taken apart. Don't really know the state of Earth, because we got thrust through a, 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 a portal and ended up out here, stranded as it were. There isn't really a good spot. I mean, I, I suppose we could build something over here. Or even over there. This wouldn't be a bad spot. We're not too far away from it. And it's relatively relatively flat ground. We could do down there. But we'd have to climb up like we have to go up to use this, which isn't bad. Ooh yeah, this is a nice little nook. Overlooking the ocean. I think we go with that. I mean, it's... It's not a bad choice. And then we can make a little, uh... ramp thing. Like stairs or something going up. I don't know, let's see. First, we need to get rid of these guys. Trying to get hit. Let's get some stamina back, shall we? Just the knife, please. Thanks. Hopefully this doesn't put us over in terms of weight. Because we are right on the edge there. Right on. Okay, we can use this stuff to actually build our, our shack. Which we can put like a little shack up there. 
for now, just overlooking, and then have a, a real compound down here. Uh, let's put... Let's put the cairn... Let's put the cairn here, in the middle. Like so. Alright, what do you need? Rocks, stone blocks. Okay. Should be easy enough. Oh, yes. We are a heavy boy. You can do it. You can make it. I know. Just grit your teeth. Okay, we need to make a basket. Um, we can't make a basket because we don't have the capacity to do that. Alright. Um, let's just destroy these. Okay, we need five stone blocks. Okay, that's three. That's six. Let's pop you in there. Oof. How you doing? Oops, a little, a little close. How you doing, Puck? Your tenacity overrules the gusts of fate. And this fay you have pleased. Thank you. Thank you. Settled here, you'll soon wish to venture farther. The unending lure humankind so often succumbs to. Should you hear that siren call, you'll require unbraided cards and the power to play them. Okay, I'll take that into advisement. Fortunately, both are close at hand. And here is the knowledge that Robin's friendship affords. Across this realm lie sites of power sealed by your kin long ago. Forsworn by Fay, even longer still. There are many sites, each granting access to ever more distant spheres. Nearest, though, the Antiquarian. Formidable enough for one so green. You must first gain entry, passing through a seal forged by those last children of Earth. Who claimed reverence for our infinite wisdom. They, more than most, knew the gravity of a contract. Their gates bar access to those unworthy, but I see that strange, hopeful spark within you. Nurture it with its own fundament, humanity. Be it comfort, companionship, coffer, I know not. Once within, delve ever deeper toward the pedestal. Upon it lies the means to craft the card you require. Hurry now, fleshling, and prepare. The infinite awaits. Okay. See ya. All right. Um, we're good here. I suppose we should make a little, uh, tent. Oops. Do 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 do. That's not it. We need the build menu. Um. Let's grab this stuff first. Oops. Not enough stamina. Oh, because we need food. Okay, why is that there? Oops. Yes, yes, way down. 
Let's let's put the um. Let's put it down here for now. Uh, green. Thank you. Oh, we do have storage basket. Okay. Oh, he just gave it to us. Cool. So... Yeah, this is just going to be our temporary spot. While we build our things. Shall we? Um, we're gonna need two. Okay, okay, that's fine. Ooh, we need more grass. Sorry, fibers. We're gonna need more fibers. Thankfully, there's plenty right around the corner here. Let's grab us some cannabis. Oh no, it's hailing. Let's finish this up real quick. Let's give us a little spot to just lay down for a sec. Okay, so we're gonna want that, a stone. Do we have any wood? Nope, we do not. Actually, it's alright. We don't actually need any of this stuff quite yet. Put the stone away. And we could have like a little simple shack right here, which we can then later turn into like a workshop. And then maybe we can go... We can expand it upwards so that it extends out to this side. You know what I mean? So that there's an entrance. So we can take stairs or something up this way, and then straight to the portal. Ooh. So yeah, let's put something here. Let's go with stone foundations. Before we put that down, let's get rid of this. Oh, we can't really expand too far this way then. Because of this. Oops. Getting soaked. Should be alright though, should be alright. Do we make this a sick 2x3 or 2x4 for now? Maybe we just do a 2x2 two two for now. We can, well, no, we need space for all of the workshop items. Let's put um, stone steps right here. I think this is a good foundation, and I'm going to... Usually I'll 
put the blueprints of the entire building up before I start putting in any kind of materials. But I think because the foundation's raised, we're going to need to populate it now. So let's go, let's gather some stone. Actually, let's, let's have a nap. Refill our, uh, our tiredness meter. How many do we need total? 300. Okay. <laughs> we got some farming to do. What's up here? Hopefully something interesting, but we'll look at it later. We got we got some work to do. Holding down the uh, the pick up button, the interact button, will gather all the stuff around you in a certain radius. Here I'll show you. you'll notice a bunch of stone just laying around and if you're in a if they're close enough to you while you hold down E you'll pick some of them up but not all of them if they're too far away like so I've got kind of a tutorial on how to build buildings um, I'll put it up in in the uh, info window thing in the corner there All right, there we go. Oh, hey. How far you've come, and yet how little you possess. Is it an ascetic purity that keeps thee bound to such homely presentation? No, it seems more apt that thou merely remain blind to all that could be thine. I'm just starting out, man. Like I just put some floors down. Like you know, across to, like... these wilds, your kind have proliferated with haste, industrious, and more than willing to avail amidst your ever-growing need. Hmm. Indulge their hunger for essence, and they will indulge your want for new and novel constructions. Okay. He's talking about this essence trader way over here, which we passed when we first came in. Oh man, it's so far away. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, what time is it? 7.30, right on. Okay, so I think what we do here is... Let's put some walls down. First, let's do... um. We'll just put, we'll just use wood. Wood's fine. We'll put a door out that way and a door out this way. Let's put windows. We'll put windows here because it's a real nice view. Um, we don't need windows there. Let's have a window here. And here. The rest can just be regular old balls. And then we'll expand to this floor at some point. 
Okay, and for now, let's do... Let's do some doors. One, two. Let's do... Oops. Let's do some flat roofs. We'll change that up later. All right. Do we want anything else? Do we want... Hmm. No, I think, I think this is good for now. Okay, what do we need? 48 sticks, 52 wood, 96 plant fiber. I like this tree here, although if these trees fall, they will damage the house. So let's hope they don't fall in this direction. If they ever fall. Let's hope they just let's just hope it never falls. Yeah. We should be okay. Fingers crossed. Six. Oops. And another one. Cool. Two essence tests. Well, two total essence tests from those two. Ah, yes. Fascinating. Fascinating gathering gameplay. Don't forget to stay fed, because staying fed... Staying fed means you stay alive. If your hunger meter goes all the way down... Basically, once you start starving, once you start going hungry, your maximum health goes down and down and down until it's at zero, at which point you die. And it's kind of the same with your tiredness meter, which is the blue meter down in the bottom left corner. If that's down to zero, or the closer it gets to zero, the more your stamina goes to zero. And once that hits zero, you die. <laughs> so make sure you're fed, make sure you're well rested. Item is breaking. Okay, so this is gonna cost, what, five to repair? We need one, two, three, four, five things to repair six. So. What's that, 31? But this says 34. Isn't that interesting? Oh, maybe because of our torch? No, it's still good. So somehow it's calculating things incorrectly. Doesn't matter because it's bugged, it doesn't even take any of the essence dust anyways. So... Don't get hit by falling trees. The shit hurts. Oh, now we're full. What's our weight? 60? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, it's a long walk. How did it not use up? A... Oh, I see. I see, I see. So that's so much to go. Couple sticks, mostly wood. All right. Let's 
What's our weight at? Let's actually extract these and these. Let's save ourselves a little bit of uh, weight. We don't need sticks. Or do we need sticks? I've already forgotten. That's terrible. Chunky dude. Really? That hit me? I did a lot of damage. Holy shit. Did it get dark? It is nighttime. It's 10.45. Right. Okay, how much do we need now? 18. Okay, we can do that in one. Well, not one. One tree, but one trip. Like, if we chop down these three, we should... That should be... Way down. I know, I know. We're gonna need to make some food too. But let's finish this up. Lion. Intermediate builder. Yep. That's us. Oh. Actually, let's, um. And, you know, we don't have to tear any of this down. We just move it. So if we hit X and then R, we can just move this guy inside. Let's put our bedroll, like, here. Same with this guy. Do, 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 do. Let's put them... Let's put them along this wall. So that... This is like when we first walk in from, say... Oh wait, no. When we first walk in, we're, we're going to be coming from here. I should have put this door on this side. So that it's a uh, straight walkthrough. I suppose we could still do that. Uh, let me put this put this guy down. Uh, let's remove this. I'm removing them just in case the this I'm removing this the roof tiles in case removing the the walls will destroy them. Okay, so let's. Oh man. Oh, we can still remove this. Super heavy. I should have thought of that before we started building, but um, well, what can you do? Sometimes, just not, don't think it through. Please populate, thanks. 
All right. Oh, we're gonna need a um, uh, campfire. Let's put that right here in the middle. We're gonna need six rocks. Fair enough. Okay, let's put a bunch of storage down because we're going to need it. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, yeah, why not? Let's just do six. Don't really have enough fiber. Let's go grab some more. We're actually a long way from starving, so we're okay. Let's just keep going. Let's finish up our tasks, and then we can make something. Oh, we need rocks. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Is there any here by the shore? No. Indeed, there are. Five, ten rocks. All right. Uh, let's see. Which one has our food? Let's grab that and... I think we have more stuff with us. Oh, yes, we do. Right here. Alright, let's make some mixed plants. Uh, let's make four of them. Can we do a long rest? Let's do a long rest and get over to morning. Oof. Oof. Let's grab that. Um, oops. oops, not all 18. Let's just do four. Let's move this thing right over here. We'll put all our food in this this little angling basket. You gotta get organized. Any food? Nope. Oh yes. Cured meat. That's not food. That's also... Let's just take everything out. So this could be like raw materials. Like this. Um... This one should be refined. Oh, actually, let's let's hold it down, rename it for raw. This one can be refined. So it's going to be bricks, carved wood, uh, this felt, the ingots, the lumber, and that's it. Let's see if this is refined. Then this can be. I don't know. This can be enchants and infusions, so we'll just put um, mods. Sure. Let's 
This one can be seeds and stuff. Um, agriculture. And that leaves one, which we can... Let's move this. Wait, come on. Move, please. No? You don't want to move? Okay, that must be a bug because I can't seem to move it. Sure. We need some of this. Nope, not now. Not bad bristle. We need plant fiber. We need more plant fiber. And we're going to get that by hopefully destroying this. Let's rename this one EDC. I'll pop all this stuff in there. This, this, the bullets. Um, the bones can actually go in here. And the reason why they go in there is because they are the ingredients for healing self. Okay, what time is it? 3.30 a.m. Do a short rest. All right, we've got our home down in a nice little picturesque little seaside shack. I'm happy with it. Happy enough to take a screenshot. Bloop. Okay, what do we do now? We need to unlock the simple sewing bench. So we have to go all the way over here, trade stuff up, and unlock all those things. We have 155 essence dust. So, may as well repair over here. Okay, so here's what we can do. Oh, we forgot a door. Oops. Two sticks, two wood, two fiber. Good enough. Actually, two stack, the two, two food was probably a bit of overkill. That's all right. Though. Now we got a door, and let's put all the stuff away. Let's change this to grouped. Let's change all of them. To, oh, never mind. They're all, they're all already grouped. Great, 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 great. This should be a ramp. Okay, we need to go northwest, basically. Across the map. What we need to do is pick up everything along the way. Because we need to be able... The plan is to, like, take this stuff, extract them into essence dust, so that we can buy everything that we need to when we get there. I think... Probably the best thing to do is pick up, not just sticks, but um, like this fiber. Because there's lots of it. And it's one for one. It's got the best weight ratio so far. You know, for example, it's um, 
Yeah, 0.28 kilograms. This one's the sticks are so much heavier, 4.25. Rocks are even heavier than that, so let's look at one. Yeah, it's already two kilograms. So the best weight to essence dust ratio is through plant fiber. So we'll just snap up as much plant fiber as we can. What's over here? Berries. Nothing too fancy. Can't break those. Stuff, our stuff is breaking, let's uh, repair, and let's turn all of this into essence dust. Nice. We're up to 744. Those wolves and those boars are having a little uh, discussion. Let's avoid them. Yeah. We don't have to mess with any of that. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, we're on this side. Let's go up. Let's go up and around. Aid fellow survivors. So there's Carnute over there. Just destroying and restoring the forest as he see f sees fit. Hi, uh, we'll, we'll talk to you later. Um, we could help them out with this. Uh, why not? You know? Ooh, we need rocks. We need sticks and rocks. Should be plenty. Now we need some rocks. Let's go grab those real quick. Should be a bunch here, so... Perfecto! And this is why you help people. You get 36 essence dust. Alright, fair enough. Speak to Harold. Hello, Harold. We're gonna need some stuff. We don't need those yet. Let's get... What does this need? Um, purchase the items in the shop to unlock all requirements. Alright. We're gonna need a one of these. And one of these. Definitely gonna want the sewing bench. And the... We're gonna need all of it. <laughs> the truth is we're gonna need all of it. Um, why can't we buy this yet? Okay, never mind. We can buy it. Um, let's get all the realm cards. Um, 
Yep, let's unlock all of this. I wish you could just double click it, but I understand why people wouldn't want that. Like they may accidentally buy something they don't want to get. Um, resource, that's just, that's just resources. We don't need to buy resources. So let's grab that. And grab that. Cool, now we're down to like 30. All that farming. And even this, this free one. Oh, hey mod. Hi. How are you? It would have been five dust short if we came here without building this stuff. Or two dust? Four dust? How much did it give us? I don't remember. It gave us some stuff. Um, okay, all we gotta do now is get our gear score up. Something was shining over here, and I wanted to take a look. And it's just this. Oh, nope. Don't want to mess with that. That's um, bound. Spawning in. When you get close to these, bound show up. Some of them. Not all of them. We could fight them, but we're kind of very, very, very under-equipped. So we'll deal with them some other time. So let's go back to the respite. Ah, yes, what of you? Okay. How are we going to lay this out? Let's do... Sewing bench... Let's put the workbench down. Let's put it here. Um, let's put tailoring stuff on this wall. So what do we do here? Let's do a... Actually, let's put tanning over here. Put sewing over here, over our hither. Enchanting. Is that a little bit too set in? It is. Let's move this up a bit. Like so. And then we can put the rest of the crafting stuff over here. The refinement stuff. Uh, let's see, let's put the spinning wheel... Oh, you know what? This should be over one. So we can put this next to your tailoring bench. Pop. Okay. Smelter, saw table, mortar, masonry. Let's put saw table here. Let's spin it this way so that the blade is on that side. Let's do mortar or mason masonry here. Order station and smelter. Cool. It's not a bad layout. It's not a great layout either. 
because it doesn't allow for a lot of augments. You know, I don't like this. Let's um, let's move this. Okay, that's a little bit better. Yeah, this isn't the, the the best place for this because it just there's no really no room for augments. But that said, there's not gonna be space for augments anyways. Or not there's not gonna be need for augments anyways until we unlock a whole lot more uh, blueprints, basically. Until we have a lot more of these, it doesn't matter if we don't have the room for the augments. Um, let's see, do we need anything else? I think we're pretty good for now. All we need to do is actually populate all this stuff. We'll have to do basics first. So we'll have to do... Workbench. We basically have to go this in this direction, around the room. Although we'll have to do this first. So after the... Okay, let's plan this out. We'll have to do workbench. Basically anything that doesn't need refined goods. So this, this. Uh, this one. This. That's second. This is animal fiber. Animal fiber comes from this, I think. The spinning wheel. So this is two. This is also two because it needs lumber. Two because it needs lumber. Okay, so smelter. And then these three. Four. Cool. But we're, that, we're otherwise good. I think we'll build that stuff up next time. Because for now, I think I'm pretty much going to call this the episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, this is just the first of many of our escapades in Nightingale. There's going to be a lot of challenges up ahead. Um, there's going to be a lot of kiting because some of these bounds are, some of these opponents are going to be really, really tough and we can't handle all of it. They're meant for like big parties or at least small, you know, like teams of three to six. And since we're solo, we're not going to be able to really take care of it very well. We might, we're probably going to die a bunch. Um, in the extreme difficulty. But yeah, from now on, every every realm we pick is going to be an extreme. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll be sure to catch the next episode tomorrow, and I'll catch you all later, alright? Peace.